Let's see how we can change the look of the Excel table. Please open file attached to the lecture, which is called Changing the Look of Excel Tables version 4 empty. And we're gonna play again with the same table. If you move to the table, you'll see that this table design option will appear. And this is where you can edit the look of the table. So let's go there and you'll see plenty of options. First of all, I can remove the header so it is not visible. Secondly, I can add the total row and obviously I can change what's inside. Well, for example, instead of percentage, I can just count it or create my own function. We can also play with this bandit effect. So the fact that every second row has a different color. So if I uncheck it, you will see that it's just a plain table. We can bold the first column, last column. We can also have banded columns. This looks obviously bad with the banded rows. So you would have to uncheck the banded rows. And finally, automatically, I usually have the filters switched on. I can actually switch them off as well. Now, when it comes to how it looks, on the very right, you have a different schemes. So you can choose how the table looks like, what kind of colors it uses, and so on and so forth. So we have different table styles. It's worth also mentioning that you can go back to range. So in the very same table design, on the very left, at the bottom, you've got this convert to range. So if you press it, you ask whether you want to convert to a normal range. And if we do that, the table no longer is a Excel table, it's just a simple Excel range.